I've recently started playing with this son of basic with his smart switches and in this video we're gonna take a look at how they work and how we can reprogram them so we can have a greater freedom on how we can use them and how to better integrate them with uh, home assistant what these switches are is basically a relay that's controlled by an esp8266 that uh, switches the input and the output through that relay they're usually rated at 16 amps so on my case on running on 230 volts that's around 3 kilowatts which is plenty and I've used them to control some lights where on one side we can have the input and the light is controlled on the other side and then you could create schedules and control the light with the app but because I have a custom system at home that uses Home Assistant, I want to integrate them with it. And one of the best options that I found online is by using a custom firmware called Tasmota. At the moment, I won't go into too much details on Tasmota and how that works because I'll leave that for another video. But today I want to focus on these things and these are USB to serial converters that you can use to program the son of switches this one is the son of basic mine is a revision 2 but the same principle in theory applies to all of the different versions that son of puts out in its most simplest form the switch is basically I know the MCU with the relay that uh, has all the power and control circuitry built in and they are quite inexpensive so they really serve a great purpose but for the purposes of controlling them with home assistant we need to flash the custom firmware as I said before and for that the people at Sonoff left us with the serial breakout on the board that we can use to connect the USB to serial because this one doesn't have a USB it comes pre-programmed with the proprietary firmware from Sonoff that you can control with their app but in order for us to flash the custom firmware we'll need to connect a USB to serial adapter and interact with the chip directly to reprogram it and change the firmware on it on some of the boards that i've seen online the pins that are left on pcb are actually marked with what they are supposed to do but unfortunately on mine there are no markings which indicates to me that this might be a clone but still it works the same way and i was able to figure out that the far right pin here or the far left if we see it from the top is the VCC next one is RX takes and the fourth one is ground so we need to connect the USB to serial with such a way that VCC and ground are on the outside and next to VCC we have takes and next to ground we have RX and depending on what USB to serial adapter we're going to use that will be tricky or easy to do let's see at some of the examples for example on this one we can see that we have 3.3 volt at the end next to it is ground and then 5 volts and then we have takes and rx um, if we flip it we'll see that we basically need these two pins and then takes and rx but we need to switch them in the ordering and some of the USB to serial adapters already provide this uh, layout in a convenient form that we can directly use like this one this one has 3 volts on the end takes RX and ground and you could see that I've bent this far right pin which is 5 volts and I've added some piece of electrical tape for isolation so this allows me to directly plug the USB to serial on the PCB and I can then connect the USB lead to the USB to serial and that would power on and connect to the ESP8266 uh, chip on the board to reprogram it. We have a similar layout on this one where we have 5 volts on the end, 3 volts, 3.3 volts takes RX and ground on the far right and by bending 5 volts I'm still able to use this adapter in the same way where I can now plug it directly in without any adapters or wire and be able to connect it to the computer via the USB to reprogram it but as we saw on this one that's really tricky to do and for that reason I created a PCB 
adapter that I can plug in and that would give me the right layout. So this one goes like this where the color wire is always the 3.3 and the power which aligns. So basically I can now use the whole thing like this without worrying of making connection and without worrying of fiddling with wires. And because I want to have multiple devices like this installed throughout the house, that makes it easy to program many of them uh, in a single go. And before we look into details on this PCB adapter, let me tell you about today's sponsor, which is PCBWay. PCBWay offers services for custom PCBs, PCBA, 3D printing, CNC machining, and many more. At the moment, PCBWay is running their Christmas big sale event, where you can catch great discounts of up to 50%, lucky draws, and blind boxes for a great assortment of gifts, as well as free Christmas-style PCB prototypes. Visit the link in the video description to learn more about this great event and everything that PCBWay has to offer. So, in order for you to make this jig, you will need a piece of perf board. I've used one of the smallest ones that I have, and then on the side I soldered a male header on one side with four pins that uh, would allow me to align them with the four holes on the son of basic switch. And on the right, I have a female header that I can then use to plug directly into the adapter. And that would break out the correct pins for programming the, the switch where at the end we have 3.3. Next to it, we have ground that now goes to the far uh, pin on the right. Then we have takes which is connected from the bottom that goes to the pin next to five volts and the final one is RX uh, that again work goes directly to the pin next to the ground. And every time this gives us the right combination that we need to connect it directly and program the chip. Right here, I have a lead coming in from my computer. So yeah, so here it is. The device is being powered up. Similar to this one, I also made another adapter for this other USB to serial. This is the FTDI FT232RL. So another popular USB to serial board that you can use to program the son of switches and we could see that the layout here is quite different. We have ground pin on the far bottom where we had five volts. So the wiring is a bit different, but here the ground wire goes to the end pin. The power comes from VCC and it is important here to have the jumper at 3.3 volts. So we don't overpower the Sonos switch with uh, larger voltage and at the far and here we have takes and RX, which again from wires at the bottom go to the middle two pins, basically providing us with the right connection. So we can just align the pins and we have it ready to program and plug it into the computer. I have a USB lead coming here from a computer. So let me grab an adapter and connect the switch to it. So here we have it. It connects to the USB to serial and then it powers on the Sonoff switch. It is really important to know that you should never have the Sonoff switch plugged into main power when you're doing programming or accessing it through serial because that might destroy both the switch and your computer if you're not careful. So always only connect to the switch uh, via serial just by powering it from the computer. The interesting thing that we can do other than flashing the right firmware is that we can now talk to the microcontroller that's on the son of switch. So I have the switch connected here to the USB to my computer. And here I'm gonna use the Arduino ID to use its serial monitor to try and communicate with the device. So if I send a command of status zero, then the Sonos switch should respond with the configuration. And similarly, we can tell it to reset itself. And that would give us the right commands. We see that the device is now restarting and trying to connect with the Wi-Fi as we have it set. Currently, it cannot find the right Wi-Fi, so it provides its own uh, that we can connect that set the right information. And one such command is the power command. 
that would give us the status of the power state. Currently it's off and we say power one to one that triggers the relay to turn on and same if we have power zero that would turn off the relay basically we are giving command of the functioning of the device through the serial monitor and that would be of great help if we ever need to debug a certain device and figure out why it's not working if uh, we need to do so now with the different kind of usb to serial adapters you're gonna need a different approach to connect your Sonoff's basic switch, but at least I showed you some uh, pathways that you can go. If this is something that you're interested in, I can use PCB way to produce and manufacture some PCBs. So if that's something that would interest you, then be sure to let me know down in the comments and maybe we can make that happen. So you can order the PCBs through PCB way and have them for your converter. So I'll try to make two versions if there is an interest. And if you're interested into seeing more content with the basic switches and more content regarding home automation and similar electronic projects, be sure to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions and I would see you all in the next one. Cheers.